Okay, here is a easy weight loss meal. You just get you like a, what is it? A, I think it was a four pound bag of chicken breast. Put it in the crock pot. Let it cook overnight. There it is. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that shit. I'm sorry, so you guys can see it. <laughs> you separate the two. See, I got my chicken over here and this glass Tupperware. I love glass Tupperware because you can reheat it easily and it doesn't have that plastic taste. Yep, there you go. A pack and a half of, I'm not too much a fan of this, but I mean, it's easy. A pack and a half of McCormick taco seasoning. Make sure you mix it good. I mean, if, if you can see, I've been mixing it pretty good. But make sure you flip it around too because you'll have like some really unseasoned spots. So yeah. That's chicken tacos. So what you can do with this for your family is that you can just, you know, if you want them to eat healthy, get the wheat tortillas. But for yourself, you can make a chicken salad. So you can use your chicken, uh, black beans canned or bagged, um, salsa, which is really healthy for you, low fat, um, sour cream. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any ingredients. A little bit of guacamole because guacamole is healthy fat. And, you know, if you're trying to gain muscle, some brown rice. See? But if you don't want any of the carbs, you can just use everything else minus the brown rice. So here you go. And this will last about two days for a family of four. My family of four. But I don't eat meat. But, you know, if you do, this is good. All right, moving on to the next dish. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce for pulled chicken, but you know, like pulled pork. So put that in there like so. All right, I'm gonna stir it up. Give y'all the first stir and then yeah, just stir that in. Use as much as you want if you like super wet, you know, as in terms of barbecue sauce. You want to put more. Okay, so for your family, they can have pulled chicken sandwiches, right? As for you, you can have a Southwest chicken salad. You can put uh, a baked potato on the side of the pulled chicken. You can put a vegetable on the side of this. You can mix it in. You can get really creative with this. Um, if you're trying to shred, I'm not a weight loss expert. I'm just telling you guys what's worked for me in the past. If you're trying to shred and you're not eating carbs at all, you can mix this in with some vegetables and maybe some low fat cheese, just a little low fat cheese. Don't get crazy with the cheese because cheese will not be your friend in the end, okay? Just a little bit. I like barbecue flavor and cheddar cheese. So you can do baked beans on the side with this. And this can be a meal for two days. So there you go. Me. So my family will eat the pulled chicken sandwiches with the buns and then I will eat this if you know if I did eat the meat <laughs> vegetarian but you know for you guys this protein is essential and I ate it for a while when I first started on my weight loss journey but there you go it's all mixed up mixed in really good for you guys, you just want to do a vegetable or a bean on the side, even a black bean on the side. That is super protein. So, yep, yeah, there it is. Mixed in all good. I'm just going to put a little bit more because when you reheat it, you know how it goes. When it reheats, when it reheats, it can get a little dry. So you just want to make sure that it's saturated in there well, okay? Here we go. I'm going to give you guys the, the little refrigerator display. Here are 
the meals for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. There you go, guys. All right, if you have any comments, questions, or anything, comment them below. If you have any other ideas for uh, meals for these two or better taco mixes with less sodium or things of that sort, comment that below too, guys. But thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out.